Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to be adding some shine to hair. Now I had a question from HAA82 and the question was if I had this picture right here and the hair was flat how could I get some of that magical shampoo to make this hair shine? Well let me bring my cursor on over and take a look at Photoshop Element 7 and of course this can be done with Photoshop CS4 or 3 or even 2, you can see that there are three layers with a little bit of a transparency in there and I have it on linear dodge. Now this is just as easy as it can get. Let me go over to edit and let me revert and look at the original document here. Now you can see the hair's kind of flat there. She's got real pretty eyes and there's a, a great shine to the eyes. But the only problem is, is that there's no shine to the hair. It's just kind of flat being that 3D virtual type image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this background layer and I'm going to duplicate it. You can use the Control J. You could also drag this over onto the new layer icon or as I call it the dog ear and you can get it as well. What we need now is we need a transparent layer between the two. If you hold the Control key down and you click on that dog ear, you get a transparent layer in between. Now as you have probably seen in some of my other videos if you hold the alt or option key down in between these two layers what you get is this masking effect. Let me go ahead and show you how that masking effect works. We need to first change this transparent layer into linear dodge or add and what that's going to do is give us the highlights. Then what we need to do is paint with this black or foreground color you can also click this little icon if you have colors in there. And we're going to paint on this layer. Now where you want to paint is anywhere that should be highlighted. Now I'm on the Impressionist brush right now. So if I click on that and change it to the regular tool brush, you can see that my tool brush is 65 pixels and I have set an opacity of 9. Now we do want a brush that has a feathered effect to it. That's really the only stipulation. Now I'm going to start brushing on her hair. Now I only want the areas that are going to be highlighted or would be shiny. So if I click on this layer right here and then I just start scrubbing on her hair, you can see that her hair is getting lighter, especially some of this light area over here. Now when I let go, and I click again you can see that it becomes even lighter. Now you want to kind of blend this and we want to take these areas that are light and really brush that linear dodge in there. Now we could come over here and we can give this a little bit more brightness or a little bit more shininess there and we could also do that down here. Anywhere that the light would touch it needs to have some of this linear adding. Go ahead and do that. Now it's a very subtle effect that we have here and you can see that it's starting to shine up a little bit. Now I could blend this a little bit better. But let me turn the, uh, the visibility layer off or the eyeball as many people call it. Let me turn it off. You can see that that's kind of flat there and when I click on it again you can see that it's really brightened those areas up and kind of given it a little bit of shine. Now you can take a little bit more time with this you can blend it a little bit better and of course you'll have some nice shiny looks to that. Now the question is how would that look on a real person? Let's go ahead and click on this real person that we have here. You can see that I've already done this to this real person. Real pretty, got the nice shine in the eyes but she started off and she didn't have a whole lot of shine in her hair. Let me turn the visibility layer of this one off and you can see that it was kind of flat. We had a little bit of shine here but it wasn't a whole lot. Let me revert this photo back to the original and let's try to do this again. Let's see if you can remember all the steps. We have the background layer. Control J duplicates that layer. Holding the control key down and clicking on this new layer icon puts the transparency in the middle. Holding the Alt or Option key and clicking in between the two layers brings this on over we still have our black and white set and I'm still on my brush tool. Now the only thing I need to change, 65 is fine, 
I do need to change my opacity just a little bit. It's darker hair and I need to have a little bit higher opacity on this. So I'm going to put 20. And then what I'm going to do is go to the transparent layer and remember we need to change that to linear dodge. Let's start painting. And you can see that I am just going to paint wherever her hair is shiny. And we're just going to give it a little extra shine. There we go. I could give it a little bit more shine there. There we go. Maybe a little bit over on this side here. We're going to put some down here. There's some shine right here. Got some shine in her hair. You can see there's a little bit of shine right here. We can kind of exaggerate that shine. And now what we're doing is we're just adding the shampoo type commercial shine. Now let me turn the visibility layer off here. You can see it's a very subtle and gradual change. That is how you add shine. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my videos. If you have any comments, I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. Until then, I'm Chucky from Digital Goulash.